Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Steam Gentleman Podcast for Friday, November 5th. I'm your host, Scott Labrie, and joined alongside me in the flesh this time, Uncle Teabag, published author, Tyler Sun. <laughs> Hello. And all day, Eric Deshane. Hello. Professional athlete. The former. Yeah. Retired professional athlete. Get Tyler's book. It's on Amazon. Mm-hmm. It's it. called The Evil That Came From the Sky. $15 for paperback, $2 on a Kindle, if you're into that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. You freak. <laughs> 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 uh, mm-hmm. But yeah, you can get these right now. It's Dude. got prime shipping, so you can get it in two days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I just got a nice stack, too. My box of five, my author copies. Very nice. nice. Sold a couple today at work. <laughs> <laughs> place of work. <laughs> yeah, hey man. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Just so make money moves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta make that money. Gotta make that cash. Yep. Man. Hell yeah. This makes a great Christmas present. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All these are coming up. Yeah. That's right. Think about that, yeah. Good old stocking stuffer. Mm-hmm. I was looking at Christmas presents, holiday gift guides today because we do like the whole every me- member draws from a hat, that sort of thing. Yep. So mm-hmm. I got my mom. Mm. It's so hard to buy for parents. Was that a know? surprise for you guys or just. No, okay. we know who's buying oh, okay, for yeah. who, that sort of thing. Oh, but really? When we do, it, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a surprise, yeah. No. You keep it hidden and you have to do it that way, yeah. Uh, we're the same way, we draw, too. We draw names here. We're we'll probably do this weekend coming up here right away. So Yeah, yeah. I don't mind that. Actually. I don't mind either. Yeah. 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 You just have to be more creative. Mm-hmm. And yes. you're focusing on just one person. It's mm-hmm. kind of nice. Yeah. But it's tough if you get somebody that you don't really know what they want when <laughs> oh, they already yeah. have everything. Exactly, yeah. So it's like, That's, yeah. I mean, you could do gift cards, but then some people think it's tacky. I personally like I don't, gift I don't cards. Mind, yeah. I love Same, gift cards. Yeah. But I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for parents, it's kind of tough. Make mm-hmm. something nice. Mm-hmm. What am I creative? I'm just kidding. Yeah. yeah. Why don't the time energy Here for that? Here's a copy of Tyler's book. It's a first edition. <laughs> <laughs> Signed uh, copy, too. Signed, I know, the, I know the guy. Yeah. I know the guy, yeah. yeah. That's right. There you go. All right. Well... Mm-hmm. Uh, today's topic is brought to you by Superfan Cameron. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, he messaged us on the Facebook. You can too, if you're listening. Yeah, please. Yeah, message yeah. us. Through Go your, for it. Your, your to topic questions, your ideas, please. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Love to hear from you. And, uh, yeah, he said possible pod topic, movie trailers and teaser trailers. He says, what's your routine for watching them? How much should they show? Do you avoid them if they are, if you are really excited for the movie? And he also wants to know Tyler's reaction to the Raccoon City trailer. Start with that. Start with that. Start yeah. with that. Start with that. Uh, yeah. At first, yeah. I was ago, right? Yeah. It came out a couple weeks ago. Yeah. It was a couple weeks ago. I yeah. watched it, and uh, I'm pretty stoked. Um, it's a bit of a jumbled mess. I don't really know what's what's happening. Like, which what, I know that they're they're supposed to be exploring both games. So, Why like the you, mansion. Yeah. And the second one, but it looked from the trailer, I think Claire is at the mansion, which I'm like, I don't know why she's involved with the mansion thing. Like, she's really super involved. Look at the whole conspiracy thing. So it's kind of weird. Yeah. The effects look good. Mm-hmm. The, like, the zombies look good. The actors are, are fine. The music's mm-hmm. not bad. You got Neil McDonough in there. You know, you got your top of the line B grade movie actor in there mm-hmm. playing as, I don't know if that's Spencer or if that's Birkin or who he's playing. But uh, whatever, he's an evil scientist, and mm-hmm. you know, I'm 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 stoked for it, honestly, because it's more, mm-hmm. it's more into the the old and kind of scary horror slow burn kind of hopefully, but uh, the effects, like the special effects, the graphics look kind of meh. But whatever, honestly, mm-hmm. we'll see, we'll see. It's still a trailer though, so they, I, they might slide it up before that, and yeah, so. yeah. Um, I saw the international trailer, which actually showed more. It showed, like, uh, actually Claire was on the semi-truck, which in the games is the one that plows into the back of Leon and Claire's police cruiser. Oh. So she's actually in the semi-truck. So they're taking a lot of the elements from the game and putting mm-hmm. it into the... Yeah. Channel. So it's like, okay. Like, watching okay. the trailer is very much like, oh, this is from the game. This is from the game. It is. It all is. Like... A lot of it. But, it, like, I wonder, like, if you're watching the movie, like, you might... Would you feel, like, disappointed that it's just like... Yeah, it was, just, it was just the game, I guess. Like, yeah, but that, yeah, that's uh, it's it's kind of I don't know. I would be pretty happy like if they you could take some creative freedoms. Like, I, I don't know. Like, it, it depends on which characters they follow mostly. Like, is it going to be Jill's storyline? Like, is mm. Rebecca going to be in there and yeah. Chris, or is it going to just be like a blend of them all? So, like, yeah. are they all exploring the mansion together? Like, I don't think they're going to have enough time in this movie to have the first and second. 
in there and have a fleshed out first story because in the first one you're separated the whole time mm -hmm. whether you play as Jill or whether you play as Chris same in the second one when you play as Leon and Claire right mm -hmm. so maybe they'll just have a mix of both that I, I don't know I'm, I'm actually excited to see it I'm excited to see it that's kind of the issue when you're trying to condense a 20 hour plus game into a 2 hour movie like yeah it's there's a lot to pull and pick from, but where you go with the direction is what matters, yeah. right? So that's exactly. why I think I, more of a series probably would be better off th with this kind of storyline. I think so. That way you have the time or, to flesh out these plot lines and where things are going, right? So, yeah, or yeah. one movie per game. Just do yeah. that. It doesn't have to be a series. Just like, okay, the first movie is going to be this, Yeah. you know, about the first game and have both perspectives going on at the same time while mm -hmm. they're, like, exploring stuff and whatever and, yeah. you know. But not mixing two in there. Like there's there's so yeah. much stuff that you can unless they're cutting especially a lot like of... like the first couple of Resident Evils where it's just like there's not really like a lot of plot. A lot of it's just like you know the minute to gameplay is just like need to find a key for this door. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and yeah. then all this other Solve stuff this puzzle exactly. To so get it's just this. like yeah, you know yeah, that doesn't translate to a movie or anything. No, it does so not. No, especially no, not we, really. We didn't want to sell tickets as early not that <laughs> suspenseful or that much action, right? So that's a that's book right. in the drawer. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> yeah, I know. The password is. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true too. Mm -hmm. That is true, but I still think there's enough elements in each one mm -hmm. to. I don't know. Do I think that is it bad that it's kind of veering off that? No, I think this is kind of taking their own idea nope. with it. And as long as you yeah. stick with the same basic yeah. dread dreading, like it's not just going to be an action movie mm -hmm. again. I, I think there are fans who are upset that it's not exactly <coughs> plot for plot and spot for spot of the games. Oh, I mean, but I'm like, you can't do that. Like it's no. yeah, it's if you want that, play the game. Then yeah, this is a, this is a, a narrative movie you're watching so yeah right it's, uh, yeah it's how it is so. see that's like when the resident evil remake the first one came out for uh gamecube mm -hmm. i was like oh they're remaking this i'm like that's weird like this is dumb i'm not gonna play this but then it's like okay the graphics are better the music is just as dreary mm -hmm. but like more like an actual sy symphony and then and then they added stuff to it mm -hmm. and took out some of the stuff that was kind of silly yeah in the old ones and they just like polished the shit out of it added the lisa character in there and it was just like oh this is this is a masterpiece mm -hmm. right so i don't know I don't think that this that's what this movie's gonna be, but No, probably not, but oh, I mean it's just yeah, at least it'll still be mm -hmm. the same tone and mm -hmm. everything as the uh, as the old game. It's supposed to be a survival horror mm -hmm. story, not just uh oh, I was a genetically altered super soldier and I'm gonna fight some zombies. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, that Stop. movie confused me from start to finish the whole time. It's like I kinda know what's going on, but I kinda don't. Yeah. Like I don't know what's happening. Then, yet, oh, so. he's gonna lose his amnesia and turns out he was the boss bad guy behind everything the whole time. Wow. Yeah. Lazy yeah. writing. <laughs> I can't remember from the Raccoon City trailer. Did they show uh Mr. X at all? No. Nope. No. Nope. They didn't. They showed Lisa. I'm I'm sure it was Lisa in the mansion. The one with like the she's got like the tentacles and she's like chained up and mm -hmm. whatever. So she's actually from the remake. She's not even in from the original, but mm -hmm. Um, the tyrant is in there, and I think William Birkin mutated G virus. William Birkin's in there, so mm. didn't see the tyrant yet, though. Mm. Unless, uh, no, I don't think so. No, I think it was the G virus, Mr. Birkin. Mm. I mean, that, that would be a cool. I would, I'd have to imagine he has to be in there. Oh, he's oh, yeah. freaking like one of the most terrifying aspects out of the yeah. whole entire series, even the yeah. games. Like the first time I encountered him playing it as a kid in my grandmother's basement, lights off. My brother Jason and I were playing it. Helicopter crash, he's coming around the corner, and all of a sudden it's like this big guy. I'm like, who is that? What is that? What is that? Who is that? Who is that? He's walking towards me, and he just freaking woof, one hits you. And it's like, what the fuck? What's that? And you're just like, and then you hear his footsteps, and you go into the next room. It's like, hey, and you turn around and leave. It's like, I'm not going in here. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, he's, yeah. Yeah, that was a yeah. good, good character for sure. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. Nope. So, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. But yeah, no, as it comes with trailers, though, I. I tend to avoid them when I know it's something I really want to watch. Like uh, any, the last like last three Avengers movie, I I did not watch a single trailer for it because I did not really? want to spoil a single thing. Yeah, huh. I'll watch it once, like try not to focus on nothing, and then I, I never watch it again. See a teaser, yeah. I might watch because it's it's just like you don't know what's happening, but it's yeah. like okay, this is the style that they're going for. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, oh cool, they're in mm -hmm. it. Okay, it's about it's kind. Of, I think it's about this, and mm -hmm. that's good enough. Like a thirty second, forty five second little mm -hmm. teaser, it's perfect. I mm -hmm. think. Like Endgame, I didn't watch a single thing for, and no, didn't any articles or anything. Like, nope, I didn't hmm. to listen to a single thing of it. Yeah, no. Nope. When uh, when I watched the trailer for Ambulance, I'm like, I gotta send this to Scott. <laughs> no, yeah. The entire yeah. fucking movie 
is in that trailer. I literally, we literally do not have to watch it. Nope. Yeah. Like by the end, the ambulance is like exploding. There's a shootout. There's helicopters and stuff. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. but it started off with like a guy being upset with the military and the government, the way they treated him. And it's got backstory and everything. The whole trailer it's... is an entire movie. Oh, Michael Bay. <laughs> like what? So the rest, the, the other two hours is going to be just straight up shooting and explosions. Probably, which Probably. I'll watch. I'm definitely going to watch uh, this. Why? Oh, why not? It's Michael Bay. It's Michael I Bay. To, I have uh, to watch. I have no desire to watch that. Yeah. See, that's where I'm like, okay, like, well, then... That's going to be... You watch a trailer, it spoils that much. You're like, okay, well, that was fucking dumb of them, but uh, yeah. yeah. Even with horror films, yeah. when you watch it and then the twist is halfway through the trailer, it's like, yeah. why would you show that? Yeah. And then you watch the movie and the twist doesn't happen until three quarters of the way through. You're waiting for it because you know what's going to happen because mm-hmm. you saw it in the trailer. Like, fuck you guys. That's yeah, not that, how you... A lot of the times is whenever they do make trailers, they source it out to another company to cut it up and then release the trailer with that. But then they don't really collude back and forth properly. So the message gets mixed up and they say, oh yeah, here's like a major spoiler in your trailer. Well, if it was the studio doing that, they would like, oh no, we don't want to show that because right. that's an important plot point. But yeah. the studio's like, oh, well, it made a good, good little four second scene so we put it in the trailer well mm-hmm. fuck, like it's yeah so right. that also, that's often what happens yeah I find that like Marvel actually does their trailers really really well mm-hmm. it shows cool visual things happening that, but they like, don't really but, the, but they'll like they'll hide yep they'll hide like or like they'll even like edit out like stuff from mm-hmm. shots to the like preserve a surprise yeah. like yeah. like like thinking about Endgame like in all those trailers they never showed any of the people like coming back nope. or anything that, like no. that yeah and like never showed Thor like, he, like when he showed up he's like what the fuck Thor's fat yeah. <laughs> like what? they show right? <laughs> they show like when they were Pacific Rim they show the first like first ten minutes where nothing major happens it's all stuff from the very beginning where like oh yeah they all look normal now right after uh, Infinity War so the stuff that happens the rest of the movie they never show that it's teased the the beginning part with Thanos and that mm-hmm. and that's kind of it in the end game trailer yeah, like, oh, smart because you still have the whole movie to find out what the hell happened right? they don't say so, anything about like time five, travel or five, right? five years nothing. later yeah. about the time nothing. leap nothing no, like yeah because it's all up to speculation everybody had to like guess yeah. that they, that's what it was going to be about because they didn't mm-hmm. you know like offer any insight at all mm-hmm. as to what the fuck was going to happen no, that was that was a smart mm-hmm. move at that point yeah because I mean if they would have spoiled like oh yeah, it's five years later and things are different like, I, I think when that five years later showed up I'm like whoa this is well, I was not expecting this I thought for sure right but, like, right after Infinity War and like finding the stones hitting somewhere else yeah, and, trying to fix it before, before shit goes it's but too it's far like, yet five years later yeah five years oh. later like, oh my god oh this is different now yeah this how is, everything yeah. has changed yeah. and but they'll give you like enough like a, like at least like some sort of significant re- reveal that gets you hype like thinking about this newest spider-man trailer you know it's like mm-hmm. th- they're supposed to be you know the other two spider-man in it but they didn't show them in the trailer but it's like well we'll put we'll put alfred molina in there mm-hmm. have the goblin laugh you didn't know the goblin was gonna be in you're like yeah. oh fuck, no idea yeah. like yeah 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 and even too like you see the stills where it's like yeah he's kind of choking peter uh, spider-man but they can edit out what the costume looks like at any time right mm-hmm. because there's stills from far from home or what's the second one home no far from home yeah oh yeah homecoming and then yeah far, far, far from, from home, home yeah. or it, there's different suits and different shots right so mm-hmm. they absolutely could just change out it could be maybe garfield's spider-man can out or someone's mm-hmm. different right so you never know with marvel especially yeah so see that the way they do trailers is perfection because mm-hmm. you you kind of have a gist of what's happening mm-hmm. like there's a plot okay yeah this looks good but then mm-hmm. you know you don't really know all the, the cool whole the whole specifics and, yes yeah, yeah. exactly yeah, if so. it's done right i know one trailer that surprised me how good it was and how okay the movie was with Suicide Squad. I remember when that trailer came out when they redid it with uh, Queen. Uh, the new one? James Gunn one? No, the uh, one came out a couple years ago. Oh, oh the, David Ayer's David one? David Ayer's ones, yeah. Oh, yeah. Was, they had uh, D- Bohemian Rhapsody as the trailer music with the shots looked awesome. Like This movie looks great, right? And then the movie came out like, oh, it wasn't as great as I thought it was because the trailer did an awesome job at taking the key moments and making it really fun to watch. But mm, Made yeah. a nice music video. Yeah, exactly, right? So, <laughs> yeah. 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 So that's, that's one instance where like, oh, the trailer really hyped it up to a movie where it was like, oh, it's kind of mediocre. So, yeah. So I think if you do it right, you can get seats in, but yeah. What yeah. happens next is up to the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, trailers. I don't know. Like that. I know there are some people that are. Mm-hmm. It, it's it's so tempting to mm-hmm. to just find out everything. Like I don't I don't think I could ever be the kind of guy that would like go and do research, go on Reddit and be like, mm-hmm. what do you think's gonna happen here? Blah blah blah. And oh, yeah. I'll just about this. Blah blah. blah. Like the the like when I go on YouTube and it's like, oh, Andrew Garfield spotted in this scene. It's like, mm-hmm. 
Like, stop, you guys. Stop. <laughs> I, used to watch... I don't want to know this. I just want to know what the trailer showed me, and that's mm-hmm. it. And sometimes even that's too much. Mm-hmm. So I used to watch um, your channel called uh, uh, The Game Theory, or uh, he also does Film Theory, which he breaks down a whole something with the movie, right? I quit watching him because, like, this is right around the time when episode eight, episode seven and eight came out for Star Wars, and it got way too much in the like the lore of it being like, oh, it could be this or it could be that, right? So it built those expectations up super high of what this thing's going to be when it turns out like, well, no, what's those we're going with at all? So I quit watching that because it kind of pulled me back. I'm like, okay, I'm expecting too much of these movies. It's kind of just go in, not knowing, not knowing what's going to happen, and just enjoy what does happen, right? So because yeah, yeah like, you talked. I remember him talking about like Ray's path of being like oh this is like episode episode seven like oh it's actually obi-wan's granddaughter or something like that okay like what's going Uh, on (laughs) pull it back a second and just enjoy it where what happens is what it is right so yeah stop overthinking it yeah and see that's like uh when i saw the trailer for for don't breathe i'm like oh cool like a break and entering but with a twist like Mm -hmm. this guy is blind but he's a freaking psycho like Mm -hmm. fighting back like giving these guys what they deserve but then you find out the twist later on like oh Keeping that out of the trailer, mm-hmm. like that's oh, see, that's good marketing right there. It's like Jesus Christ, the mm-hmm. stakes haven't been higher, folks. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the turkey baster out. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. <laughs> did you did you see the second one? No, not yet. Is it out already? Or? Yeah. Yeah, it has yeah. been for a bit. Yeah. There should be on demand now. I think yeah. I heard it wasn't as good as the first. Obviously, yeah. But yeah like I, well, I was yeah. just wondering, like, how do you do? How do you a do a second one of those? Mm-hmm. Right? Does I mean, it like... left it open, like, oh, there could potentially be, like, that'd be pointless. How, what's mm-hmm. he going to do? Like, take an Uber or a taxi or, yeah. like, blindly make his way to find them? Like, how would he even find them? Yeah. Like... He's blind. Huh? Just, like, lead him out into open field. Yeah. <laughs> Catch me now, bitch. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> so, I don't know. See, like, I I, I watched the trailer, and the, the, again, another great trailer, because I don't know if this is, like, a prequel that leads up to what happened to him or if mm-hmm. this is like after mm-hmm. and these guys come after him so it's like mm-hmm. i i have no idea and i i am intrigued i will i will watch it mm-hmm. for sure cuz he's just he's such a beast character and just a fucking wall steep flying too he's also oh, he's great. terrifying yeah but yeah, him and Jicky Simmons would not get fucking in Jackie their way Simmons is just a total asshole though <laughs> but yeah but he's a fucking built bastard though he's big like oh fuck i was not expecting j john jameson to be that big <laughs> right right yeah not especially in whiplash oh, oh yeah <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah trailers yeah yeah was there any like uh any trailers that you like you watched and you, you were just like ah this looks like a bad movie or like a movie that mm-hmm. was isn't for you but then you did end up watching the movie and it was like actually mm-hmm. the trailer wasn't <laughs> the children <laughs> didn't do a good job yeah. hyping the movie up trying to think usually it's the other way around yeah yeah, it's yeah, usually, oh, yeah. The usually, around. It's, usually it's the other way it's around like, oh this looks things, really right? good and you watch it yeah. it's like oh the best parts were in the trailer yeah. i used to we used to my dad used to say that all the time he's like oh it's gonna be one of those movies where all the best parts are happening in the in the previews mm-hmm. and sure enough yeah one but, uh, one for me was uh the grand budapest hotel or mm. whatever and like watching that trailer i was like the fuck is this stupid movie yeah. like but then, like, watching, it's like, oh, this is, like, really fun, like, enjoyable movie. Yeah. <laughs> like. Yeah. Wes Anderson, man. He, he yeah. Does, he does it good. Yeah. Like, what? They're in a weird hotel, and he's mm-hmm. screaming about his lobby boy. <laughs> what? I don't get it. <laughs> so. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think of one. I'm trying to think of one that was the opposite way, though. Like, it's where. Because usually if I watch a trailer and I'm not intrigued mm-hmm. by it, I won't, I won't mm-hmm. watch yeah, the Yeah, exactly. I'll just be Same. like, no. But yeah. then I'm trying to think something that. I honestly, I can't, I can't think of one right now. Mm-hmm. Can't. We haven't watched it, but you know, Shang Chi. You guys were like down on the first trailer. Yeah, the that, first one was when it very first came oh, out. Oh yeah, I was I like, like, this is this doesn't. Look yeah, good. but the second one I liked. It's never got a chance to see it though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The second trailer. Yeah. Yeah. No. no, the first trailer, I'm just like, yeah, mm-hmm. I have no interest in seeing this. Mm-hmm. Well, even I, Eternals, I watched the trailer, I'm like, ah, mm-hmm. I don't know. It looks all right. Mm-hmm. Actually, I've heard that that one's got a negative rotten. Yeah, it's getting bombarded thing. with reviews. Fifty nine percent or for, something. Like that. Yeah, which is. But from what I heard, a lot of that's mostly just because the bandwagon is that just to jump oh. on it and be the walls down when it's actually a decent movie. So yeah, maybe. So. Still have mm-hmm. to watch. it. I'm still on watch it regardless. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. but that's like Shang Chi too. I still yeah. have to watch it. Yeah, I still watch it. Apparently, it's one of the better ones too. Mm-hmm. Like, apparently, it's really good. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't. Know, I don't really know of. A trailer that was was bad, and then a movie turned out to be actually pretty good. 
Oh, I guess the movie Soldier with Kurt Russell way back in the day. I don't know if you guys know what that mm, movie's about. No. It's a, I think, I think it's a, a Paul Anderson movie, the guy that made Resident Evil and Event Horizon. Mm. Uh, it's with Kurt Russell and it's about like these kids that t- get taken at birth and they're put into like this training program and only like a very select few of them make it. it you would think of, uh, of Warhammer immediately. Mm. And they put in like this elite soldier program they go to like these different planets and blah 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 and then they make them once they turn 18 they have like a one-on-one mm. fights uh to like the point where they're almost dead and then like if they're if they're so broken by the end of the fight that they're not used to they get dumped on these waste planets so mm. he gets like dumped on this planet and i'm like this is dumb this is dumb i'm watching the trailer but then i watch the movie I'm like man this movie was fucking lit you got you got <laughs> gary Busey in there you got jason isaac <laughs> as like the, the bad guy general mm. he's like on this garbage planet falls in love with these garbage people and like <laughs> it was it was awesome it's a b movie like yeah. but mm-hmm. kurt russell he doesn't say much and he just does that like uh, snake plissken from uh, escape from la and escape mm-hmm. from new york kind of character and he has like these little flashbacks and the flashbacks were pretty cool. Like the training stuff that they had to do too. And one kid's running, he's like, I don't know, 12, 13. And he's like falling behind and whatever. And then uh, he trips and he falls and he's like panting and he's crawling. And then the soldiers are just like shaking their heads, take a gun out and just fucking execute him on the Whoa. side of the road. Jeez. It's like, oh, so it's like, oh, this is kind of a cool. Hmm. You don't see any of that in the trailers. Like it was way darker Brutal. in the movie than on the trailer. Mike. Wow. Yeah. Orphaned as a kid, like the typical 90s commercials used to be. And that movie ended up being... Frick, I want to watch that movie again now. It's probably trash. <laughs> probably, <yeah. laughs> probably. Guaranteed. It's pretty young when I watched it. Mm-hmm. But uh, mm-hmm. I remember being on the school bus, and uh, one of my friends was telling me about it. Actually told me almost the whole thing about it. I'm like, what? This is from that... I watched the trailer. It. Like, didn't show any of that in the trailer. Mm-hmm. She's like, oh, you got to watch it. It's all good. And I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah. It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Soldier, Kurt Russell. Check it out. It's probably got shit reviews. But probably, yeah. I'm actually curious. I'm actually genuinely curious <laughs> to see how good it is. And if I'm even right about it being Paul Anderson that directed it. I wouldn't be surprised if that's how the movie he would make, though. That's like Event Horizon, man. That movie yeah. gave me nightmares, and you, you watch it now, and it's like, eh. What the fuck was I yeah, thinking? Why was, yeah. I, why was I so scared yeah. of this movie? But it was like one of the first of its kind that was kind of like that, oh, though, yeah. right? Oh, Event Horizon. Oh, yeah. I mean, um, that that took, like, the, the real body horror, grim dark, like, side of that oh yeah yeah it was oof. yeah oh 6.1 out of 10 yep. that ain't bad paul ws anderson yep nailed it i do remember uh yeah pretty good movie you know what i hate that's happening a lot recently with movie mm-hmm. trailers and game trailers are these like stupid somber music yeah. covers uh, fucking so yeah. they did that with resident evil yeah that's like every single one has some stupid thing yeah we it's talked like, about that i think a little while ago yeah yeah. It, it is pretty annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. Good songs. Okay. Let them play. Yeah. I agree with you on that one. We need a sad song for this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But maybe they maybe that's the thing. All the sad songs have t- been used already. So exactly, we need yeah. to take a nineties upbeat song and yeah. make it slow and depressing. Mm-hmm. Somber tones. Remix the shit out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Son of a bitch. No, <laughs> Very frustrating. Keep thinking about the Black Widow and the opening song is more like Teen Spirit, but it's just mm-hmm. sung so differently. It's like, this is a different song altogether, but it's the exact same freaking song. But it's how it is. It's like, this is like eerie feeling. This is weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it was good though. But but that's the thing though. That's what happened. It was, oh, that was really cool. Let's do it for everything now. It's like, oh, God damn it. Now it's, mm. you're overdoing it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's frustrating. Mm-hmm. I think like, what is it? It's technically an original song, but like, when Gears of War had the the Mad World uh, song, oh, yeah, mm. I think you could probably trace this back to that. You very well. Never could. heard of that song. I don't remember that. I only played Gears of War two. Like, I don't remember. It's got that real oh, soft yes, piano. Yes, do, yes, do, yes. Do, 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 do. It's probably the real song though. Like that song. Oh, it is. Like, uh, yeah, it is. But that's and like, they put it in something like that, and it's just mm-hmm. like because it's apocalyptic, right? Mm-hmm. Like everything's just falling apart, and mm-hmm. yeah. But uh, Gears of War ain't sad. No, no, oh, it can be. Well. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. 95% <laughs> of it isn't. <laughs> yeah. Right. I feel like what what trailer had for the first time Marilyn Manson's rendition of Sweet Dreams Are Made of These? Mm. Sweet Dreams That was are used, made yeah. Of these. When that was used the first time, I remember watching the trailer and that it, gave me goosebumps. Yeah. What I can't remember what movie trailer was. I just remember the song. Because I think they, 
they put it in the movie Gamer, which the movie was not that great, but Battlefield didn't the new the Battlefield trailer have Sweet Dreams? But, it, 20, wasn't, but it wasn't. It wasn't uh, Marilyn Manson. It was somebody else covering oh, it. But they're singing it the same that, way. No. It could have. I, I don't yeah. really know. Or that uh, mm-hmm. Seven Nation Army song that gets remixed oh, the yeah. shit out of all the time. Do 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 do. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Trailers and remixing songs and. I watch all the trailers. You know. Can't help it. Got it. Well, it's there. Why not? Mm-hmm. Like, you going through Twitter? It's like new Spider-Man trailer dropped. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't even hesitate yeah. when I saw that on YouTube. I'm like, oh shit, there it is. Yeah, I'll watch it. I think because we all want to know if Toby and mm-hmm. Andrew are in there, but yeah, they're not going to show. They're up. not going to show up. I am. I, 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 no, they're not going to show it in the trailer. Is what I meant. Oh, but I'm yeah. sure they will show up. I know. I, I know. It's tough to I, say. I'm saying no. At this Maybe point, they yeah. hired people to spread rumors that they're both going to show up. To, just to disappoint them, mm-hmm. and instead it'll be like I don't know, just well, all the villains from all the old movies. Well, mm-hmm. there was that corridor video where they looked at the Andrew Garfield leaked footage. Okay. And they're like, eh, it's real footage, whether it's from Jesus this movie or like one of his other movies, right? The other Spider-Man movies. Yeah. Don't know, but. Uh, Wrath of the Titans. <laughs> I was looking. At, holy shit! There's lots of times it was used in the movies. Wrath of the Titans. Uh, Gamer. Oh. Trick or Treat. Uh, Haunted House on Haunted Hill. True Blood. Sweet. Like oh my god, it was used a lot. Oh yeah. Yeah. Marilyn Manson's version. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That's a uh, fucking. Yep. Hot commodity that one. Mm-hmm. Well. Mm-hmm. Any other final thoughts on trailers? Keep them tasteful. Yeah. Keep them. Interesting enough yeah. to intrigue us, mm-hmm. but don't give away the whole story. That's your point. That's the whole point of it. Give away the whole Give thing. us a little tease to see if we want to watch it or not. Not spoil the whole freaking thing. Start to finish in two minutes. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Ambulance, exactly. looking at you. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And speaking of teases that don't give everything all away, Tyler actually read the first chapter of his new book. Mm-hmm. I did. The Evil That Came From the Sky. Mm-hmm. And I you did. can find that over on his YouTube channel. Aviator Productions, but mm-hmm. we also linked it over on our Facebook page. You bet. So you can find that. So yes. if you're on the fence about ordering a book blind, you can listen to the first chapter as he reads it to you in his silky, silky, smooth, smooth voice. Yeah, and then uh, trained voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, yep. yeah, there you go. You'll get you'll get an idea whether the book will be up your alley, and then mm-hmm. uh, you can order it off Amazon. Fifteen dollars yep. for a paperback, two dollars for a Kindle. Hardcover yeah. to be TBA. 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 Yeah. yeah. TBD. TBA. Yeah. 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 For sure. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this podcast. Thank you so much for watching on YouTube. Like and subscribe if you're listening on a podcast service such as Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts. Give us a positive rating. Subscribe to the feed, mm-hmm. and head over to our Facebook page. Like the page. Ask us a question, and. You can submit a topic just like Cameron did. Thank you very much, Cameron. Yes, for Cameron. Great topic, great topic Cameron. Yep. Um, I think next week we're going to have another user submitted topic. Mm-hmm. So that sounds great. Yes, mm-hmm. and then uh, we'll figure something out. We might might be doing another trivia episode, p- possibly soon. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we we'll found the perfect little. Yeah. Uh, Eric, it Eric sounds trivia. good though. That's the thing. Yeah. It's scary because it sounds good. Eric f- apparently I, found something disgusting. I to found eat, something so. terribly disgusting last night shopping, <laughs> and uh, sounded really good. Tasted it, awful, just the worst. And we'll say that for you on trivia night. Maybe it's expired. Did you check that. Yeah, I checked that. Oh god, okay. dude. I, trust me. I see. Yeah, I know. I'm not poisoning myself for this fucking <laughs> show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. Thank you very much. Uh, have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you on Monday. Toodaloo. Goodbye. See you.